the, the most common three things that are going to be able to defend against this type of passing are simple. Number one is a uh, versatile guard, somebody who's really uh, good and flexible and mobile and moves and frames, does really well. You see this a lot at the lighter levels because the, the lighter guys are very squirmish and flexible. So number one is someone like this, especially like Justin. Um, he's going to be able to bump, get his legs across. Yeah, that's number one defense against this type of guard. Number two, number two is going to be that wrestling game where they get that outside half guard and they play here. It's very good defense against this type of half guard. And number three, very common, when they get an underhook and you're defending well, they're going to reach for that far side and go deep half and start reaching here. So this is another defense. For options one and two, we kind of went over this week, like how to keep the pressure, hips high, right? Option two, we just went over. Now, how do we defend this? If I stay here, he can do a lot of things. Waiter sweep is probably one of them, right? Bolo, he can take my back, he can sweep. I do have some attacks. I can go for a Kimura, right? I can go for a choke. I can pass. So that's, we're really gonna focus on his reaction and then my reaction to his reaction, okay? So, oh, excuse me. All right, I meant to do that. All right, so I'm, I'm in the same position. He's kind of pummeling an underhook, kind of baits me. I'm so focused on that that I get lazy with my left leg and then he scoops that left leg and immediately starts going deep half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch my hip and put my knee to the ground and start putting my base this way. Now I'm gonna pummel this side, throw my leg over and drop my hip and I'll pass to this side. I have to do that though when he transitions. Okay, so again, I'm going for my half guard sequence. Look, he starts the underhook. So I, I turn my hip, put my knee to the ground and extend this leg. Now he can still sweep me here, so I have to be very careful. I'm gonna fight that underhook, throw my leg over his face and drop my hip. Now he can still pinch very tight here but it's very hard to keep me here. Way harder than the half guard. From here I grab the lapel, right? And anytime I have an underhook, it's very hard for him to come up. The only way he can come up is if he turtles and brings this arm over here. But then that's a better position for me anyway. So it's okay if he does that. So we'll do it again. Maybe let's do all the angles. Yeah, we'll do this angle. So I'm in half guard. He reaches for that leg, put my knee on the floor. Grab, look, make sure you pummel outside your leg, not inside your leg, outside my leg, throw my leg over, drop my hip, and pass. And then we'll do it this way. Oh, yeah. We didn't do it this way, did we? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So he underhooks, see how he underhooks, and he starts taking me deep half, put my knee on the ground, extend my leg, pummel that underhook, throw my leg apart, and start passing. Don't worry about this arm. It's, you know, it's not going to do much. As long as I have this cross face and this underhook, I can start working. He might try to bump me over his head and I'm fine. I'm fine. Just stay here. Okay. He might try to invert, right? Bring his legs over my head. Stay super low. Hold on. Right. And when I'm ready, I can start lifting him up and connecting back to his hip. So it gives you another option. For the person on bottom, you have to underhook that far side leg and pull them across. Okay, so it gives you another scenario. I use Justin because Justin's actually really good at this game. If you guys roll with him, he's very hard guard to pass because he does these things. He's framing, he underhooks, he comes up for you know, a really strong underhook, he goes back and reaches. That's the way, and he's competed some, so he knows what's out there. This is the way the people are gonna react to, to defend this game, all right? Any questions about that position? All right, in order to do this, we need the guy on bottom to really reach for that leg to go deep half. If you don't know deep half, that's okay. We just really reach for that leg and pull him on top of you. This is a great way to defend, especially in competition. All right, let's do this one, and then we're gonna do some competition rounds. I'll tell you what they are, okay? First positional training, and then competition rounds. All right, let's do it, guys. One, two, three.